Hi everyone, my name is Matthew. I'm a makeup artist and teacher at the Makeup Forever Academy. And today, we have the beautiful Zoe. Hi everyone, my name is Zoe, I'm from Paris. I'm a fashion designer and a content creator and I'm very happy to be here with Makeup Forever today. Today, I'm gonna to introduce you to my top five favorite brushes. Makeup Forever brushes are really amazing and loved by the pros backstage. They are handcrafted and made out of fibers replicating natural hairs for an optimal makeup result. So we do you know how many brushes we have in Makeup Forever? I have no idea, but tell me. <laughs> <laughs> we have a range of over 76 handcrafted brushes oh. and you can create with them endless possibilities of different makeup looks. Oh, cool. Do you use brushes on a daily basis? Um, yes, I do. Um, usually I use a sponge mm -hmm. for my face and brushes for my eyebrows and my eye makeup. Amazing. And you guys, because we care for you, don't forget to wash your tools and to wash your hands properly before you do your makeup. I'm gonna show you my top favorite brushes. Let's go. Okay, first, the complexion. The first brush that I wanted to show you is the AG Skin Brush. Do you like its shape? Oh yes, I love it. <laughs> the shape is absolutely amazing. Actually, it's quite dense, mm -hmm. but very soft at the same time. Okay. So it gives you like a massage kind of effect on oh, the skin. nice. Can't so wait. So I'm going to use the HD Skin Brush to apply the primer first. And I'm going to use the Hydra Booster to hydrate and prime your face. Okay. You know, priming your face is also major if you want mm -hmm. your foundation to last a long time on your mm -hmm. face throughout the day. Okay. And I am going to apply the primer from the center of the face towards the perimeter of the face, like so. And of course, I'm going to apply it all over the face. Like that. On the forehead as well. How do you feel with the brush? Oh, it's very soft. <laughs> I'm kind of jealous right now. <laughs> okay, so next I'm going to apply the foundation. And today I'm going to use the amazing HD Skin Foundation. And I'm going to use the same brush. So I like to put the foundation on my hand first, like this. Like the primer. Like the primer. Mm -hmm. You know, because the warmth of my hand really helps me to kind of melt the product onto the skin. So I kind of, you know, kind of work a little bit the product on my hand before applying the product on the face. Okay. Like that. And thanks to its diamond shape, you know, the brush really allows you to, you know, cover like a larger area on your face and it's kind of had like a pointy tip like this. Mm -hmm. So it really allows me to, you know, uh, have more precision on smaller areas. Like, like under, under the Exactly, okay. like under the eyes, on, you know, sides of the nose, for example. Mm. So I'm going to apply it like from the center of the face towards the perimeter of the face, like that. How do you feel? Oh, it's so gentle. <laughs> I'm very relaxed. <laughs> it's very, very easy to blend the foundation with this brush. It's almost like I'm putting the foundation on. I, in one gesture, the job is done, so. Mm. And I don't feel like I'm wearing anything right now. Right? Mm -hmm. Thanks to the foundation and the brush. You know, the product really matters, but the tool that you're using to apply it is also very important to take in consideration, right? Mm. Since the brush is dense, if you want to have a little bit more coverage, what mm -hmm. you can do is kind of dab the product on oh. to the skin like that, and you will have a little bit more coverage. Okay. And if you want to have less coverage, like on other areas of your face, you can definitely kind of blend the product outwards like that. Oh. So it's very easy and very convenient. And for you, who you told me at the beginning that you like to use a sponge, yeah. right? Um, when you do that, it has kind of a sponge effect at the okay, same time. Okay, yes, I see. Yeah. Okay, Zoe, what is the next step after foundation? Uh, concealer. You're right, concealer. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys, I'm gonna show you my favorite brush for concealer. But it's actually one of my favorite brushes ever. Oh. Yeah, this is the 140. Oh. brush and as you can see it's kind of dense kind of fluffy at the same time and rounded and rounded I love the shape yeah exactly rounded you have the points i think it goes really well into like smaller areas if you want to have a little bit more you know detail on your face mm -hmm. so i would like to play a game with you zoe okay. i'm going to apply the concealer with the brush on one side okay and you're going to apply the concealer with your finger on the other side and we're going to compare okay right? okay, okay. So I'm kind of dabbing the uh, texture first, like that. 
And then I kind of smooth everything into the skin. To blend. To blend, mm. exactly. And as you can feel, it is very soft. <laughs> <laughs> it is. <laughs> right? And I kind of smooth everything out until the concealer is perfectly blended uh, into the complexion. So do you want to try? Yeah. So you're going to apply the concealer on the other side with your finger. Okay. Okay, let's check. So what I can see is, well, first of all, you apply concealer really well. Oh, do I? <laughs> but what I can see, I can see that it kind of budges a little bit on, on certain areas underneath your eyes. So what I want you to do is take the brush okay. like this and try to smooth everything out with the brush. See how it blends seamlessly yeah. into the skin? There is a big difference. Well, that's the magic of the brush. <laughs> <laughs> Let me have a look. Perfection. Cool. <laughs> I am going to set the complexion with powder and I'm going to use the 158 brush. Look at this brush. <laughs> <laughs> so it's amazing. It's double sided. Okay. Okay. And this side is actually fluffier and a little bit softer and mm -hmm. it's perfect to apply uh, a powder on top of your foundation. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to do that first. Okay. I'm going to use the Aishi powder to do that. Okay. And I'm going to apply the powder all over the face in a circular motion like that. Mm -hmm. And the fact that it's very fluffy, you know, really allows me to take a very small amount of product. I don't mm -hmm. need a lot actually because mm -hmm. the brush actually does the job. Okay. It, it really diffuses the powder evenly onto the entire face. And no cakey effect. And no cakey effect, right? <laughs> <laughs> we don't like cakey. No, we hate we it. <laughs> There you go, everything is locked in place. Mm. But you guys, we are not finished because we only talked about one side of the brush. The other side though, is amazing to apply blush or to contour your face. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to apply the blush with the other side of the brush. Okay. See, the size and also the shape is different, right? Yeah. It is a little bit angular. Mm -hmm. So um, it really allows me to apply the blush in a very precise way. Okay. So I'm going to do that. I have picked a beautiful corally color for you. <laughs> exactly what I like. <laughs> and I am going to start on the apples of the cheek, right here, mm -hmm. moving my way up like that. And you know, I can always come back with the other side of the brush like so to really help me to diffuse the blush onto the skin. So you really have a very natural effect, almost in, an infused effect mm. into the complexion. Like that. A quick pro tip for you, Zoe. You know, I always like to use what remains on my brush mm -hmm. to put it kind of all over the face. Yeah. So don't worry, you won't look like a clown, I promise. <laughs> I'm only using what's left on my brush. Because, you know, when you naturally blush, you don't mm, it's only... It's not only on it's the on, cheeks. No, exactly, yeah, it's not I only agree. on the cheeks, right? That's so. already what I do. <laughs> so I'm a pro already. Oh, yes. yes, you are. <laughs> I don't doubt it. <laughs> so I kind of apply it on the lid a little bit, like mm -hmm. this. Tip of the nose, a little bit on the chin, and a little bit of the forehead. Like that. There you go. Okay, so your complexion is done. And now it's time to move on to the eyes. I think I'm gonna show you how to do your eye makeup in a very easy way, actually. Okay. You know, when you're in a hurry, when you're in a rush in the morning, sometimes we don't have time to lose to do mm -hmm. our eye makeup, right? So um, I'm gonna use two brushes okay. to apply your eye makeup. Mm -hmm. Very easy, very simple and quick. So I'm gonna use first the brush 236. Okay. It's an amazing brush. As you can see, it's also rounded. Mm. I love rounded brush, actually. <laughs> I can yeah. see that. <laughs> so first, I'm going to use the Aqua Resist Smoky Shadow. It's a cream eyeshadow. Mm -hmm. So, you know, for those mornings where you're like in a rush, it's uh, very convenient to use and you don't have any fallouts on your skin. Oh, yes. Right? Okay. All over the lid. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use the 236 brush to blend the eyeshadow right here in the crease. 
So the fact that it's very fluffy and dense at the same time, very soft, but kind of big also. It really helps me to blend the eyeshadow perfectly and very quickly, like so. You know what? I'm going to apply the product on, the, on your other eye, mm -hmm. and then you're gonna try to blend it yourself. Oh, okay. Can you tell me how do you feel? Okay. okay there you go. From the left to the right, from the right to the left. Don't be afraid. Just blend it out. <laughs> Well, actually, actually, you're doing great. Ah, <laughs> good. Good to know. <laughs> there you go. See Super how... Super easy. Right? Yeah. Is it enough? Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> you're a pro already. Next, I have actually the baby version of the brush. <laughs> That's adorable. <laughs> it's cute, right? Yes. <laughs> the brush is the 216. Okay. And it is rounded. As you can see, once again. <laughs> and it's a blending brush, but a tinier, of course. So since it's very, it's tiny, it's more precise as well. Okay. So I'm gonna use another eyeshadow. This one is actually slightly darker. Okay. And I'm gonna use it on the outer corner of your eye and on the lower lash line. Okay. And I'm gonna blend it out with a tiny brush. Okay. And you know, what I do is I keep coming back and forth with the two brushes mm -hmm. to, you know, blend everything out, to merge the two colors together, just to make sure that everything is blended seamlessly. Mm -hmm. And of course, you want to finish it up with a little bit of mascara. Okay. There you go. <laughs> So do you like this mascara? It's amazing. Well, it's actually my favorite one. <laughs> you guys, it is the Smoky Stretch Mascara. <laughs> to finish the look, what is missing? Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna apply the Rouge Artist, you guys. It's a beautiful lipstick and the payoff is absolutely amazing. And the packaging. Right? Yeah. Do you know how to use this? No. But actually, it's very convenient and very easy to use. Okay. You know, you open it, you clip it like so. Oh. And it becomes like a brush. Oh, so it's very steady and very easy to use. So, you know, the application is even more precise. That is so cool. Right? Yeah, it feels Beautiful. different. <laughs> and how do I apply this one? You always want to start with the cupid's bow first. Okay. And then the middle of the bottom lip. Mm -hmm. And then from the corner to the cupid's bow. Like this? Exactly. Yeah. The color is beautiful. Okay. As you can see, the bullet is very sharp, so it's very easy to be precise. There you go. And it, you know, yeah, like the orangey, peachy undertones really it matches is, the rest of, of it the is look, cute. right? I think it's the first time I wear uh, lipstick in this color. I like it. Okay, you guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and don't hesitate to leave a comment down below. Three lucky winners will have the chance to win the five brushes that I showed you in this video. How lucky are you? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Bye.